spooky fairy. Hello everybody, in this video we will take a look at Ashura Sniper Rifle, legendary one, and this one is crazy. This is where I actually bought it, as you can see here, and this is the Ashura legendary. This one, pff, and I thought my sniper rifle is powerful, this one is just goddess. So basically what we are dealing with here, well, <laughs> high DPS, uh... This comes with electrical damage, you might get it with a different one. Uh, good to get mag robots. Uh, crit chance 57%, crit damage 153%, shock chance plus 20, shot delay 0 0.05, and headshot damage multiplier 5.4. Jeez. Now, as you can see here, this one is very expensive 350, more than 350k. And, well, Close to actually what I got. Once I bought it, and I really wanted to buy it, uh, I've left almost nothing. <laughs> uh, but the thing is that I really like playing with sniper rifle, and usually I buy the weapons and the items that I enjoy playing with. Um, if that's my focus, that's why I enjoy playing, and see this, that the game actually demands in some points, and it fits my playset, that's why I buy it. And I decided to buy it. It was very, very expensive, but it took some time, of course, to get the money. But, uh, well, I wanted to try first whether to see whether it's worth it or not. Now, it's worth paying attention that uh, you need a smart link cyberware in order to use it. The reason for this is because this is a smart weapon. In fact, this is one of the reasons I wanted this one so much. Now, if you, if you go take a look closer at um, how it works, when you aim at an enemy, it's going to be uh, highlighted. And you're going to see there's a kind of... Um, a diamond shape there, which first appear in the body, and second later, I don't know, it's around second later, appears and had. Uh, this means that uh, once you aim, you need to wait, uh, you know, uh, until the hey, this diamond marker appears on the head in order to create a to make a headshot. Now another cool thing, again, this is a smart weapon. Once you lock on the enemy, you don't actually need to look at them straight. Uh, I mean, what I'm doing now, actually new to this weapon, smart weapon and stuff, so... But later on, I understood that, you know, I don't really need to stand, I just need to lock on the on the enemy, I can move behind cover, shoot in the air, and the bullet will just go up, or side down, and, and just hit the enemy. They can eat enemies behind cover, and I don't even need to look at them uh, in the face in order to uh, eliminate them. Now, aside from that, this weapon looks absolutely a beast. I really like how it looks, how it sounds, how it plays. Uh, and again, this one is used for, uh, you know, long range, mid range. If you want to kind of a clear an area from far away. Um, I still enjoy using this with slow because sometimes it will rush me. Uh, and again, because this packs so much punch and it's going to be much better. Um, I think I dealt... Right now with my level, uh, and again, this is level 1 weapon, uh, se more than 70k to the head. Um, again, it depends on which enemy you hit, we're talking about humans here. Uh, but overall, I think if you like, maximize it even more, and it has of course mod slots, it can be absolutely devastating to anything that hits. It's just crazy, crazily powerful. And I enjoy it, I enjoy just, you know... Uh, Taking enemies from far away, uh, you know, I enjoy both. I enjoy getting close and with my pistol and shoot them, kind of melee, even in close range with, my, with the pistol. But this one really complements my playstyle beautifully, and I really enjoy it. Now we can actually see, uh, we actually use the, the the smart weapons, right? I see that I lock on an enemy. Now this one is actually to the face. Again, I don't need to look at them in order to hit them, you see? I just shoot above them and it will hit them. The bullets can just, you know, just it's homing, it's like having a homing missile. So, again, you just lock, shoot in the air and the bullet will go straight where it, uh, it was actually uh, set up to go when you aim towards an enemy in the first place.
Now the thing is that in this game, to be honest, sometimes enemies of course move, right? Even if they come towards you after you first hit them, uh, you want to be able to eliminate them if they move. And with a sniper rifle, even if you shoot it with mid-range, with this one you can actually do mid-range as well. Here I'm actually what I'm using, I'm using the speed, flanking, aiming, and shooting. Even if the enemy moved towards me, I was able to hit them uh, as well. Now it's so powerful that I count on this one to actually use it even in close quarters because I can use the uh, my cyber called Warp Dancer, uh, Kiant Warp Dancer Sandivistan Sandivist MK5 to move around the enemies very very fast. They are slowed down, I am not. I can move fast and aim towards the head and eliminate them. Here is actually a situation where I got ambushed by uh, several enemies. Again, I need to extend a bit more uh, to aim towards the enemy so it can lock on the target. Uh, again, I can be more extreme by this. I can just aim and just aim to the sky and the bullet will just go and I'm, I'm just playing because I just, you know, I just used playing like this with a sniper rifle. But the thing is, with this weapon, you can get cover. You can just lock, get cover. Once you lock on the enemy, you can get cover uh, and just shoot and eliminate them. You don't need like to get hit, you know, just... What the hell is this? And there are plenty of uh, places where you can get cover in this game, it's not a problem. Here it actually surprised me, just all over me, so I need to get cover. And it's just beautiful to play with this, this is so much fun. Again, everybody chooses the weapon they enjoy, but this one... So much better than a regular sniper rifle, playing with smart weapons. And it's different, right? If you're already you know, you're playing Cyberpunk 2077, you're going to try a different things, cool things that the game offers. And the smart weapons are one of them. And uh, definitely with the sniper rifle, when you you know you have these really powerful shots, uh, it's really fun playing and limiting enemy form. Uh, whether you're far away, behind cover, uh, this just can hide from you. Once you lock on them, they're out. So this is the Ashura Legendary, in my opinion, the most powerful sniper in the game. And it was fun to use, smart weapons are absolutely a blast to use. Uh, keep in mind uh, that uh, you might get it with slightly different specs and different elements. Uh, I personally like the Electrified because, uh, you know, when you're dealing with big mechs, you have a mecha and robots and stuff, you want to eliminate them from far. Um, this gives you the option to deal more damage to them. Um, uh, so for me, it's it's actually a good choice that I got it with this element, but you might get it with a different one. Whether you can cycle from it, it might be, uh, I don't know. So if you go to a vendor and you visit it a second time after some time, maybe the some of the uh, elements would change, the elements and the other stuff would change, but I'm not sure about this, uh, just keep this in mind. So this is this for this video. Uh, if you want this weapon, tell me what you think. Again, very expensive, but it's expensive for a great reason. This one is absolutely devastating. This tons of damage super fun to use uh, great weapon overall so again thanks for watching if one if you want me uh, to do more weapon reviews let me know in the comment section below which one you want me to review and i'll buy them and test them out and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this one a like i see you very soon in the next video cheers bye bye